Welcome to the video. Another easy-to-use plugin was developed by our expert team for Abacus users, which can apply periodic boundary conditions, known as PBC, on three-dimensional parts with few clicks. It can be used for modeling various representative volume elements including composites, concrete, crystalline materials, and similar structures under different loadings. This plugin features mesh generation on part which is optional, checking the position of all boundary meshes, applying various types of loading like tension and shear along each direction. Let's see how it works. As an example, a three-dimensional RVE of a unidirectional fiber reinforced composite at microscale was prepared. Details of the dimensions can be observed. Two types of properties were defined for fibers and matrix. Both fibers and matrix were considered as isotropic material and elastic constants were only defined. As you can see from the load module that no boundary conditions have been defined yet. To apply periodic boundary condition, you must select Ingsoft PBC 3D plugin from the menu. This plugin can be used with other Ingsoft plugin products and also on your parts. There are three tabs for applying mesh, PBC, and load settings. By selecting the mesh the part option, you can allow the plugin to generate mesh on the part. Otherwise, you can select the part has mesh option. An important note. Mesh option in this plugin is more suitable for RVEs with simple geometries containing structured mesh. It is highly advisable to generate mesh on RVEs with complex geometries with your own strategies to achieve monotonous mesh on opposite faces of RVE part. Then, you can select the seating type. Finally, you must enter the mesh size on each face. These values will be multiplied by the corresponded length of the RVE to calculate mesh size. In the second tab, named as PBC, model and part must be selected and instance name must be entered. Be careful, you must enter the instance name correctly. You can access the instance name from the model tree under instance branch. Please note that this plugin can be used for both dependent and independent parts. Then, closest corner with respect to the origin of the part must be chosen from the viewport. Then, farthest corner with respect to the origin of the part must be chosen from the viewport. Last step, you must enter node tolerance value, which is 0.01 in default. This tolerance check all the nodes on two opposite faces to be exactly in front of each other. If distance of two opposite nodes is greater than this value multiplied by mesh size, you will receive an error. Otherwise, periodic boundary conditions will be applied. In the load tab, you must at first choose whether to define the load or not. The current model must be selected from the model menu. Similarly, step 1 must be selected for the step section. Then, you can choose the type of loading, which can be tensile or shear. Six loading types were considered in this plugin, which can further be used to extract elastic constants of the RVE part. As a last step, the strain value must be entered, which is 0.01 in default. Clicking the OK button and everything is ready. Here, we face an error since entered node tolerance was lower than the maximum distance of opposite nodes. Now, we correct the tolerance value to 0.05. Remember that user can increase the tolerance value to apply PBC on RVE part with complex geometries containing unstructured mesh. However, high values of tolerance are not recommended. It is better to improve your mesh quality on the part. Now, we click the OK button. As you can see, loading condition was created and applied to the RVE part. 
Similarly, periodic boundary condition was defined successfully and can be observed from the constraint manager window in intersection module. If you want to use the plugin one more time, you must delete all previously defined constraints in both interaction and loading modules. You can see from the mesh module that discretization was also done successfully by the plugin. Now the model is ready to be solved by submitting the job. You can observe the result in the visualization for the shear loading in the XY direction. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment. And visit our website for more products.